I think we're good. Welcome to Philobot Live. Uh, today we're going over a few different things. We're going to do a nice intro, which is kind of ironic because I just messed it up. Uh, then we're going to go over the extrusion test, and then we are going to talk or give a quick update on our carbon fiber ABS. So let's get started. Oh, my clipboard. Okay, so we have laid out some materials over here, which are just random grades of materials that customers will send in to us. And this is our extrusion test shelf. Uh, basically, when a customer sends in a material, they'll send it in either in solid chunks, so this happens to be Legos, or they can send it in like this. This is a photo of a part that we had ground up. Uh, we actually didn't have any solid objects that customers had sent in to show for this video, but we wanted to, to let customers know that they can send in material that is solid and we can grind it up in our grinder system and then run it through and see if it uh, makes filament. So customers will send in solid chunks, they'll send in pellets. So pellets of any shape or size. And what we do is we take these pellets and we run them through our system. So we run them through the Philobot Original, Philobot EX2, or Philobot EX6. Um, a lot of the times, different systems will work uh, differently with different polymers. So for example, if you have a higher melt flow polymer, you're gonna wanna use the EX6 versus an EX2. Um, our testing service is designed to go through that whole process and make sure that we're meeting um, your requirements for filament with the right system. Um, if a material passes, so if it can be made into filament, Right? Uh, we will mail it back to you so that you can print with it, play with it, see how it works. Uh, a lot of the times materials will be a partial pass where the diameter isn't plus or minus 0 0.05 millimeter. It's a little larger than that. It's still printable, but not that super tight tolerance that we're shooting for, like we have with our PLA and ABS. Um, there's two versions of the test, which I briefly mentioned. Uh, at the start of this video, one is the pellet extruding. That costs $180 for one test. So you send in your, uh, your material. We need at least half a gallon. Pay us $180 and we go through the whole test and then we produce a report for you. Oh, I guess I should talk about uh, the solid grinding. But um, this is what the final report looks like. Uh, you get your test number, basically the grade, just the general data up here. And then we go through and give you the temp range. Uh, there's a few different temperatures on this one, and this is because this was done on EX6 system. This customer was interested in this EX6 system, probably for speed and output, and we go through and we tell you how it works. So this one, this one partially passed. So it's plus or minus uh, 0.2, which is actually pretty large in tolerance, but still printable if you have a printer that isn't too finicky uh, with printing with that that wide range of tolerance. Um, I forgot to mention this too, the solid grinding test is $260. Um, it's a little more cost, a little higher cost because we have to go through the grinder and clean it out before every test. Um, so those are the main two tests and if they pass, we will we'll mail it back to you and you can test it out. If you have any questions about that, please give us a call or send us an email. Um, and I wanted to give another quick update. We've been playing around with ABS carbon fiber. It's a material, it's right here. So this material, um, it's ABS with 15%, oh, Josh had the, the piece, 15% carbon fiber uh, infused in it, and that gives it a very stiff property. Um, and the print we have is not very special, but definitely a, neat print. It's a little bit, you know, it's pretty stiff for being a thin walled part. We'll print more with this material and see what it can really do. Um, I mean, me squeezing it and showing you how stiff it is doesn't really do much. If I break it, will you be? It's fine. All right, let's try. This, see, this is why I need safety glasses. So yeah. It's a lot stiffer as you can see because normal ABS without the carbon fiber would be, it would kind of bend more before it broke. This was a nice uh, shear. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Have you broken one yet? No. No. 
Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that was really good. I like that. And it was right like right on the it doesn't look like it was following a layer. You don't or see delamination from the layers. So. Right. Let's actually since I have broken it, let's try to delaminate it. Yeah, it's a little easy. This was printed uh, not in a printer with with an enclosure. It's still pretty tough. And it's yeah, it's breaking. I like that. So that's some cool stuff. And the reason we're uh, just giving a little bit of an update on that is because it's a polymer we're trying out. Uh, we had some great success with it in the past with uh, having that stiffer property compared to the unfilled ABS. And uh, we're hoping that as we go through testing it on our extruders and in the 3D printers we have, that'll be a product that we can offer very soon. So yeah, that is the video. Any questions? If you do have any other questions, please give us an email, send us an email, and give us a call. And thank you. Well, what else are we going to talk about? That was really short. I thought we were going to do a longer one. Any ideas? Nice and short and sweet. I don't have anything else. All right. Cool.